Hey, what's up, YouTube? So if you've just seen the brand new full-length trailer for Scream 6, you'll notice that there's a lot of different things that we haven't seen before in any other promotional images or materials. We've finally got our first look at the shrine that the new Ghostface killer we assume has set up. We also see that Gail finally receives her phone call from Ghostface. It only took six movies, but hey, it was a really exciting sequence that I cannot wait to see more of. But interestingly, I think this trailer is trying to take the approach that we are led to believe that Stu Marker is somehow the Ghostface killer. The reason why I say this is during the Shrine sequence, we see that the only Ghostface costume that has a cage around it is for Billy. I'll zoom in on the image itself so you can see. Now, I thought this was interesting because if you go by the sequence of Ghostface killers, the one in the middle should ideally be Roman. He was the only killer in Scream 3. He was the fifth Ghostface in sequence. So I thought, oh, well, that has to be Roman. Maybe there's a connection between Roman and this new Ghostface killer or killers. But no, zoom in and, yep, surprisingly, it says Billy. Potentially, this trailer may make people think that Stu could be still alive somehow, even though he, you know, was stabbed repeatedly, had blood loss, also had a giant television smashed on top of his head. And if you're a 90s kid like I am, you know those TVs were fucking heavy. So, I'm sorry, there's no chance Stu Marker is still alive. But I will backtrack when Scream 6 releases on March 10, and it does reveal that, hey, Stu Marker is somehow alive in the new ghost space but I just don't see it. We also see our first glimpses of Samara weaving in a very brief shot in the trailer. I don't necessarily see this as being a clue that Samara Weaving's character could be Ghostface. Could also be a red herring. Maybe she's playing an actress in maybe Stab 9, or she could be in the musical that was teased on one of the additional posters late last year. But it's still interesting. There was that Subway poster released a few weeks ago where it showed Stu Marker with the pink dot compared to every other deceased character that had a clearly white dot on it except for Kirby who was marked as closed. I just think the creators, the marketing team, even the writers are trying to tease this conspiracy theory about Stu Marker still being alive. I mean, I said before in a previous video that maybe Gail could somehow be the Ghostface killer. I do not think that anymore. I think Gail is somehow, you know, gotten over Dewey's death in the movies and hey, Maybe she's just trying to live her best life in New York. I think the new Ghostface killer is possibly one of Tara or what's her name? Samantha's new roommates. Could be someone that, you know, got obsessed with the whole idea of Ghostface as a concept, purposely chose Tara and Sam as a roommate and whatnot, and just their full-blown obsession just went from there. Although this seems to be like a bit similar to Amber and Richie's motives in Scream 5, so I don't know how the writers are going to be able to pull this one off. It also feels a bit too, yeah, we've already seen that, we've already done that. I mean, can we get something else a bit fresher? But Hey, who knows? I'm looking forward to Scream 6. I hope you are too. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Bye.